what, what a lot of people mess up on, one of the fundamental violations that a lot of dream novice interpreters mess up on is that sometimes that they take their typology and they make it a reality. And the second thing is metaphors. You need to understand metaphors. Metaphor is an object or, ide or, or an ideal is used in place of another to suggest a likeness or an analogy. So when you have a metaphor, you're dealing with something that appears to be, but it is not the actuality of what it is. Metaphors are very important for prophets. That's why prophets and prophetesses need to understand how to prophesy in metaphors. Because people are sometimes moved with prophetic metaphors than what is what we call raw truth or absolute truth. You have to learn how to cover or disguise truth in metaphors. Somebody said, I must learn how to disguise, to disguise and cover truth in metaphors. And if you want to understand your dream, you need to understand allegory. You need to understand allegorical methods. Allegorical methods is a symbolic representation place of another, in place of another, and it's always subjective and not objective. Which means that allegory deals with how you, how you interpret things subjectively. Your allegory comes from your own subjective meaning and subjective interpretation. And if you decide to share what you have interpreted to us, then what, uh, how we perceive it is to be an allegory. So you, you come from an existential standpoint, you look at something, for example, you have dreams, and your dream, say for example, you might dream of a giraffe. Um, Sister Sharita, when you think about a giraffe, what comes to your mind? Huh? Standing tall. Okay, when I think of a giraffe, I think of ugly. You see that? Her interpretation is different from mine. So if I dream of a giraffe, God might be telling me something's ugly with me. There's something abnormal. How she's interpreting the giraffe is that, okay, God's trying to tell her she's about to stand out. So everybody has their own meaning and their own interpretation of dream symbols. That's what we call allegorical explanation or expression. Okay? That's why only you can really know your own language and interpretation. No book can help you interpret dreams. You must know the hidden meaning behind it. Okay? That's why we want you to connect to a prophetic mastermind because if the prophetic mastermind is declaring something to you that's resonating with you, then we know we're hitting, the, we're hitting it on the point and on the target. The fourth thing is symbols. So we talked about typologies, we talked about metaphors, we talked about allegories. This is the most important one out of the dream language, is symbols, okay? Symbols is a sign that stands or represents something that is concealed of its true essence. That's why Jesus spoke in parables, because he knew that the people were asleep. So he had to speak to them in dream language. Oh, y'all missed that. We can sit tomorrow at lunchtime. If you notice from Matthew chapter 4 down to chapter 12, he was speaking raw truth to them. He said, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, turn. Truth was so clear. When they kept on rejecting and despising his truth, in Matthew chapter 13, he changed his message and began to give them parables. Because he realized only the awakened can understand truth. You can't speak truth to the unawakened. You got to speak to them in parables. And some of us, we get in trouble because we're trying to speak truth to people that are asleep. I'm telling you, when you understand these four different languages, you start prophesying with the allegorical way, you start prophesying with the typology method, you start prophesying with the allegorical method, and you start using symbols, 